What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Echo. Now this is another game released by Future Games, the, uh, the game school, university, whose recent releases I have just been plowing through, uh, and there's been some pretty impressive stuff, but this came out about a week ago and I completely missed it. And every once in a while I think I, I need to go back through the, like, popular pages and see what I missed, see what I overlooked, and uh, this was among them. And it looked like, uh, like a, a, th a two and a half D puzzle platformer, but with kind of some dark themes. So I don't really know what to expect, but let's, let's just dive in. Whoa, actually diving in. Okay. Yeah, what's up? All right. Oh, it's not two and a half D. I actually have like full 3D movement in in the space. Okay, I can I can grab things. What's up with the light? Hello? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Grab and push door. Yeah. This like instantly reminds me of little nightmares. Just from the like, uh, caricature-esque. Whoa. Hi there. Art style, and with how tiny we are? Okay, so you completely mirror my movements. That's creepy. What? Also, I guess a pertinent question is why the F is that there? What is that? Like, is that just a portal? Into another world? Box? Do I need the box? I think I need the box. Come here, box. We'll be best of friends, box. Yes. Come here, box. All right. Up and away. Goodbye, box. We were the best of friends, but I hardly knew you. Oh, I just use people. And move on. Oh, okay. Here we go. Lots of, like, points of no return. All right. Elevator. Oh, oh! I need to get you to grab that, and then you stay in place, and then I come over here, release, and grab, and we both do it. Nice! Teamwork with Ghosty Friend. I don't know who Ghosty Friend is, but they look a lot like us. Is that us? Are we dead or something? Ghosty Friend, I need the box. <gasps> yeah, Ghosty Friend is back. All right, let's go and push this off. Nice, thank you, ghosty friend. All right. And then we put box here, jump up on box, jump away from box, goodbye box. Okay, so hold up. We woke up in a bedroom, we walked out, and then we were in some sort of like manufacturing plant or water processing. I don't know, maybe that's why there's all this water around here. And now we're walking out onto a dock where we see ambulances. Are we dead? Like, are we actually dead? Did I call that? I don't know. We're dead. We're most certainly dead. That is us. That is- oh, hi teddy bear. Wheelchair friend? <gasps> Wheelchair friend. Yeah! Uh, okay, you, you, you done stuck me, wheelchair friend. Okay. Well, yeah, I- uh, mm, 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 There we go. Yeah, and now we're in a hospital. The way that all of these levels are linking together, and getting progressively more surreal... Oh, do I need to put you up... here? Oh, that's cool. And it works really well because it, like, the controls mirror each other. So they're both moving exactly how they're supposed to, given their orientations and their controls. That's really cool. I like that. All right, what's going on here? Uh-oh. 
That's a heart monitor. What what the fuck is going on here? Is this like us coming to terms with our death? Oh god, and they're waiting for us. Yeah, I think that's what this is. I think this is us coming to terms with our dying. Is it gonna flatline when we walk through the door? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that's it? No! Future games, why you do this to me? This was really, really impressive. Even though uh, it only took me about five minutes to beat. Like, that is, that is some impressive environmental storytelling and storytelling through, like, interactions and mechanics. And that's what video games are effing for. Like, I don't know. I've seen dozens of AAA games that do not have that subtlety in storytelling. That, admittedly, wasn't all that subtle because the game kind of spilled its beans with the whole corpse in the water situation and the game might have almost been better without that. Maybe just like show the hat in the water or something like that. I don't know. but. Like, that, that is just how storytelling in games should be. It, it got its entire point across without any dialogue, without any text, and it, uh, it does leave a little bit of room for interpretation with the, the vagaries of the story, but, like, I don't know, that's just, that was really cool. <laughs> I'm really glad that I, I came back and I saw this one, because I... Mm, I, I miss stuff every once in a while and coming back to see what you missed or what you might have had like poor first impressions of or uh, just might have straight up overlooked and playing them and getting the experience of them is, is something I need to do a little bit more often because I almost always stick to the newest stuff but this was really damn impressive I think the only thing I would change in the entire game is the, the body scene and that's just because that kind of smacks you in the face with what's going on. And I almost wish I could have wondered a little bit longer. But that just kind of confirmed all of my suspicions. And, you know, it is what it is. It really reminded me of Little Nightmares. Just because of the, the mechanics style and the visual style. But I think it tells a more powerful and concise story than Little Nightmares does, because I still don't know what the story of Little Nightmares is, uh, even with all of the extra DLC. But this has been Echo. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.